Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nelson Official, and uh, we're gonna continue our Lost Vault series, part 4, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is the first part of Shelter Introducing. I mean, um, I I'm going to introduce you with Shelter tab. This is the third tab, and I already switched to the third tab before I recording this so I'm sorry I'm not really I'm not feeling really well today um, if, so if you hear me uh, like sneezing or anything like that so I'm sorry because um, I'm not really well also not really well today but yeah I can still do a video because I'm not so I, I'm not so throat or anything like that I, I'm just a little bit um i don't know how to say it but um yeah that is it so um we have three part i mean uh, three tabs in shelter i mean uh, sub tabs the first one is shelter the second one is raids, one tab, two or three. raids. and the third tab is invasion so today we are going to in um, i'm going to introduce you with the first tab i mean first sub tab first i'm going to show you the raid tab the rates tab maybe in uh, in the next episode and uh, I'm going to show you the invasion tab uh, on next Tuesday because um, I want to make a video this week but um, I don't have I don't really have time so yeah I joined the invasion but uh, I'm going to show you the invasion in the tu uh, Tuesday maybe two episodes uh, ahead before um, we, we before we go with explorations, caravan and vault, um, I mean the the explore tab and the the, the fourth tab. So um, here is shelter tab. So as usual, you can see on the um, upper part, I mean the uh, the yeah the the upper part of the screen, we have my resources. So. Um, I believe you know that um, in the items tab, um, I show you a few episode uh, before, I mean, uh, a few previous episodes. Um, you can see that on my resources, ca uh, my resources section, we have cash, bottle caps, and also scraps. So scraps is something to um, you need to upgrade your item or to roll um, the stats of uh, your items. So, um, in shelter tab, we on the my resources. I mean, on my resources section, we have cash, food, and fuel. So, here is um, what is. I mean, you may ask, so what is the use of food and fuel? So, food and fuel is not for your character. Um, so, food and fuel is to they they are used to. Uh, upgrade your shelter i mean to upgrade your buildings so we have a few buildings here um as you can see um we have headquarters um we have refinery we have farm what water clarifier and something like that so th they are all useful things um for your for your character and also for your shelter so um, my current headquarter, which is the main building. I mean, headquarters is the main building that you have to upgrade before you upgrade other things. So, um, for example, for example, um, your headquarters is level seven. So, your other, I mean, your other buildings won't be able to go. I mean, I mean, won't be able to go up to level seven. I mean, uh, they won't be able to go um, up to level eight, level nine, etc. No, they will only stuck on level seven unless if you upgrade your headquarters. So my current headquarter is level seventeen, um, which is pretty high for my level. I'm um, my character is level fifty five, almost fifty six. I believe I can go fifty six on. Uh, Probably, I guess maybe uh, in the 
Monday or Tuesday I can reach level 56. My target is to reach level 58 before I go back to my hostel on the middle of March but I don't know if I can reach that goal. I'm going to I have to boost my character as fast as possible so yeah um, because I have a um, really a great skill that I want to unlock on level 58 so I want to reach that level as fast as possible um, but yeah so um, my character is level 55 and um, my headquarter is level 17 so that is um, necessary so I mean um, it's normal for my uh, ca uh, for my current level to have such uh, uh, he level I mean uh, headquarter progress uh, or I can say I can say shelter progress um, and uh, also I have farm in refinery and farm on level 15 that will produce fuel and food which um, you will need to increase your uh, shelter I mean to upgrade your buildings um, if I remember it correctly we have around uh, a few buildings I believe it's up to five uh, maybe with the clarifier, we have that pawn shop already six. Um, we have also that archery and etc. So we have up to um, we we have a few buildings here. So I'm going to show you the my resources section for um, screen reader users. So. Okay, I know it's a little bit hard to hear this because um after the lost vault has been has been updated so um it's really hard to tell those numbers because it just keeps saying but without pause so um it will sometimes confuse so I'm going to read word by word. So I'm going to read word by word and you will see how many um resources I have. My resources cash fifty two fifty two point nine M. So it, um it it won't um announce that point. I mean that um full stop or um I can say uh yeah it's decimize yeah decimize one L one sorry one two point nine M two nine M F point nine M fifty two H fifty two 52.9 um, million okay fuel 1.58 m which is 1 million five hundred thousand and food 3 million and four hundred thousand okay so that is it okay so um, if you don't understand um, in this my resources section, you can just read word by word. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. So um, you can read word by word, or um, if you still don't understand, you can read character by character. So shelter tab, raids, one tab, two, raids invasion, tab, three, invasion. Headquarter level seventeen. Headquarter level seventeen. So it will. Let you know what type of building, and it will let you know um, your current level. Then, if you swipe right, you will find the description of the building. Increases resources capacity and allows to upgrade the rest of the shelter. Increases uh, resources capacity and allows to upgrade the rest of shelter. So, <coughs> this is headquarter. So, um. Sorry. Okay, so um, let's swipe right again. We have refinery on level 15. Refinery level 15. So refinery, this is what will produce fuel. <coughs> so if you swipe right, it will say. Reduces fuel required by shelter upgrade. Fuel 130k button. Okay, so um, you hear that number, which is fuel 130k. What does that mean? Okay, so after the description, in the, this is the latest version. In in the old version, we have show button. Next to the description, we have show button, and um, yeah, we have show button. But um, in the latest version, we don't have that show button. 
and um we um what is that mean 130k so 130k is um i mean the the fuel that they um they have produced i mean um the ref the refinery have produced has produced um and currently we can collect this i mean we can collect this fuel by just double tap on this thing but i'm not going to collect i'm going to wait until the storage is full i mean uh, the the fuel is full then i will collect it maybe on 4 pm today because i have set um, my schedule to collect something from shelter to uh, to make a tribe attack um to, uh, to make a raid i mean to raid other shelter um to explorations and uh, to protect the caravan so i have i have my own schedule so i'm not going to waste this thing i'm not going to make my schedule um I, i'm not going to ruin my schedule so um you can simply collect these resources from the producer i mean the refinery or farm or any anything um by Voice simply call. reply call button double tap to reply back button lost fault no sorry guys um someone called me i mean uh, they uh, make a voice call um yeah, yeah they, they make a voice call i i just declined that okay sorry guys uh let's continue so um yeah you can simply double tap on this description um and if you hear it until the end it will tell you how many uh, fuel you have in storage um i mean in the refinery producer so the refinery producer has uh, the i mean the storage is limited so i'm um, on level 15 the max <clears throat> sorry the uh the the max fuel in 10 hour is 400 409k if i'm not mistaken so yeah 409k so i'm going to wait until 409k and i will collect this because the shelter is just simply use the mathematical format i mean um they use 10 hour and um the, i mean they will try to um they, they will try to balance the number by just simply um just simply you, you i mean you can just balance the number by simply uh by simply counting 10 hours so um in 10 hours every shelter building will i mean the storage will fall so um i mean i mean the store I, I mean you will run out of storage so make sure you collect every resources in 10 hours i mean after 10 hours so that is what i usually do um for example my schedule is basically simple so 6 a.m to 4 p.m so it's 10 hours so in 4 p.m i will collect my resources then 4 p.m to 8 p.m i'm going to collect my res i mean in 8 p.m i'm going to collect my resources so here is um so you may ask it's only four hours so why do i collect my resources because i want to balance the number and i want to balance my schedule so from 8 p.m to 6 a.m so on 6 a.m i'm going to collect my resources it's already 10 hours so and just repeat that from 6 a.m to 4 p.m and 4 p.m i'm going to collect my resources it's already 10 hours so um, that is how I balance my gameplay for 24 hours so in 24 hours I will collect my resources in one day for three times so in 6 a.m 4 p.m and 8 p.m so that is how I balance my schedule in this game this game does have schedule you have to schedule yourself otherwise you will lose I mean it's not lose actually I mean your your, your schedule will ruin I mean ruin sometimes you want to um protect the caravan for only 10 hours um and for example you you 
You protect the caravan. Sorry guys, not a, not a little bit well. I'm going to, I, I will try to finish this video as fast as possible. So, um, for example, you p protect the caravan from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. But um, you collect the caravan on, um, for example, you collect the caravan on 8 p.m. So, you have, you have, I mean, you have wasted that four hours for what? No what? I mean, no anything. I mean, in that four hours, so you you should have collected that resources, th those resources on um, four p.m. But you collected on eight 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 p.m. So um, you have waste you have wasted four hours. So this game does have uh, this game does have um, the schedule so you need to schedule yourself for caravan if you are a headman or chief of a tribe so um, or a clan so you have to schedule yourself for tribe attacks and uh, schedule yourself for exploration or something like that so farm level 15 farm also on level 15 uh yeah i i'm on level i'm on level 15 currently Okay, food. This is another tips that I have for you. You have to make sure that in my resources section, or I can say in your storage, food should have more than, I mean, you should have more food than fuel to make it balance. Because food is something that you will get more easily than fuel, because fuel um, I don't know how to explain it, but um, that is h how this game works. So, usually, if, for example, if you have if you have one hundred k fuel, then you will, you will have to make sure your food is up to two hundred k. So that is how it works. I mean, the game mechanic. So, food usually have two x than um, two times fuel. So for example, your f uh, you have twenty k fuel, then you have you you have to make sure your food is forty k or above forty k. So that is how this game works. So food is usually more than fuel, so you have to make sure that. Water clarifier level fifteen. Then we have another building which is water clarifier. So water clarifier, what is the function of this thing? So water clarifier, it will clarify. Of water for you to explore so you are exploring not with um, cash or um, you exploring with gold not you explore the wasteland or um, yeah in this game it's called wasteland so you explore the wasteland using water it's just like those energy cell or whatever will make you explore um, the map it's something like map but um, this is wasteland so it's not a map um, but it, it has it does co consist a different location, so that is wasteland. So, um, yeah. So in ten hour, this will go to um, the max storage. Um, currently, I'm level fifteen. So on level fifteen, your water clarifier max capacity is one hundred ninety. So one hundred ninety water. That means you will be able to explore 19 times. So yeah, that is how you will count. Um, you will count out that number because one exploration requires 10 water. 10 water. So um, if you have 190 water, so you just simply divide divide that divide that number by 10. So you will get 19. So you will be able to explore 19 times. If you have mm, 400 water, then you will be able to explore 40 times. So it's just simple mathematic, mathematical f format. Because, <clears throat> sorry, formula. Because Camille, as far as I know, is not a mathematical person. Um, he's not mathematical person. He is not a, s a science person. So. He'll only use a simple format like times ten, times twenty, times thirty. So it's really simple number. 
or simple count out. So you can just count out without your calculator. So you can just count by your with your brain. I mean, um, with just thinking. So it's easy. Uh, I mean, the mathematical formula in this game is really easy. So um, it's all the number that you can count out simply without calculator. So produces extra water to explore the wastelands. Water fifty seven button. Produce the um the water to explore the wasteland. So uh, I have fifty seven in my storage um currently, and uh, it will increase every hour, um up to ten hours. So it will have one hundred ninety. That means that in one hour it will produce nineteen water. So that is how do you count? Pawn shop level sixteen. Pawn shop. It's currently level sixteen. So. Pawn shop. What is the mean? So, <clears throat> pawn shop is useful things for you to get more money. I mean, to, uh, for you to get more cash. So, pawn shop is the sec. I mean, the third important thing after fuel and food. So, cash. You will need a lot of cash in this. You will need so much, so much cash in this game. So, I recommend you to upgrade this building as. As high as possible. Reduces extra cash needed by every survivor. Cash, 231k button. I have 231k in storage currently. It will produce, um, yeah, it will produce cash every hour up to 10 hours. It will fall on, um, on level 16. I will, um, yeah, on level 16, we have, um, on the max storage, if I'm not mistaken, is 675k cash for 10 hours. So, Melting plants. Level 14. Melting plants. This is currently level fourteen. I just upgraded this um this morning, so I have to wait about um a few hours before this will upgrade to level fifteen. I mean before this will go up to level fifteen. So this will produce scraps. Now scraps again. It's uh another important resources. Uh, another sorry another important resource. That you will need to upgrade your, yeah, to to upgrade your equipments or your items to be uh, to make your character grow stronger. Reduces workshop scraps to upgrade equipment. Scraps three hundred button. I have cur I currently have three hundred. I believe um on level fourteen. On the max, I mean, in ten hours we will have one k scraps. I mean, one one thousand scraps. So in one hour it will produce one hundred one hundred scraps. So that is how do you count? Library level fifteen. Library. So okay. So you may think, what is library? It's the place for um your character to read some books. No, it's not. Um, library is the place where you earn daily reward. I mean daily experience. So this is another daily reward system, which is you have to upgrade your building to be able to get more rewards. So library is the place um to generate, I mean to to generate um more experience. I mean to to give you more experience. So it will give you extra experience, which is I've talked about um maybe in the first episode if I'm not mistaken. Um, on on the survivor tab, so it consists um extra experience. So yeah, extra experience. So um library will give you extra experience. Also, it will generate daily reward, which is experience that will boost your character. I mean, it will boost your experience gain. Generates daily XP for faster level gain and increases the overall XP gain. Collect twenty two, twenty forty three button available. So okay, you hear that number. So collect twenty two. That means that I have to wait twenty two hours before I can collect. So I mean, I have to wait twenty two hours left before I can collect another. I mean, I can collect the daily reward. So I have claimed it. Um, this morning. So on Malay based on Malaysian time, based on Malaysian time zone, or on um UTC. Okay, so according to Malaysian time zone, um, you can collect all the daily rewards. I mean, um, you can yeah, you can collect all the daily rewards. Um, as I um showed you in the previous episode, and also this reward. I mean this um, 
library reward which is um, the experience reward on 8 a.m. so on um, UTC time zone it is um, 12 p.m. sorry 12 a.m. so yeah Trinket Crafter, okay, so Trinket Crafter, sorry, um, just give me a few seconds. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> okay, we, we are almost the end, so, um, I, um, we just have almost, uh, one building stuff, uh, after this, um, Trinket Crafter, so Trinket Crafter, same as library, um, it will give you daily reward, but this, this one will not give you experience but it will give you s gems so what is gems so gems i believe i have talked about it um in the item video i mean uh, maybe two videos uh two previous videos so um i've talked about items in the item tab i've shown you a few gems so this will give you gems i mean daily reward but in the gems uh, I mean, it will give you uh, gems to uh, I mean to make your equipments more powerful. So, um, trinket crafter, yeah. So this is how the uh, the trinket crafter will work, and also the trinket crafter will give you gems, and also it will give you extra cash. So, um, I believe I've talked about extra cash also in uh, the survivor video or my first video in this series so um yeah it will give you every time you upgrade this um uh, yeah every time you upgrade this trinket crafter it will yeah it will give you two percent more cash i mean more ex extra cash so drops a special gem each day to empower the equipment that increases the overall cash earned. Collect 20 to 17, 50 button available. So it's the same. I have to wait until 22 hours. So, um, Trinket Crafter and Library uh, Building is the same time. So you can collect um, the rewards on 12 a.m. UTC time, Universal Time Zone, uh, and 8 a.m. on Malaysia. Hatchery level 12. Hatchery, this is pretty low. I mean, my hatchery is pretty low, but um, I believe this hatchery it's not really important. It's just increase the power of your pet. So I'm going to talk about pet maybe later in the future video. So pet is what you call companion. I mean, is something like equipment, but it's um, it's not really equipment. But it will give you extra bonus to damage and armor and also it will give you extra special abilities so i will talk about special abilities pet and uh, trinkets something i mean that um, rings and pendants in the future video because that is such a, a little bit advanced topic to talk uh, to, to to discuss about so um increases power of your pet and bring you extra extra play with click button okay so that this means that i can collect so I have not collect my pet yet. I mean, um, I mean, I haven't collect this yet. But this will give you. I mean, this will give you egg. Um, I mean the egg, and you can incubate that. Um, I mean you can incubate that, and after the incubation uh, has ended then you will get a new pet so this is how it's work so it will give you an egg and you have to incubate it and um the incubation tempo is about two days no 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 three days if i'm not mistaken and this hatchery will not give you daily reward it it it, it is not daily system it will give you a new egg every five days so you have to wait until five days if i'm not mistaken it's five days so yeah you have to wait until five days before you can get a new egg and you can incubate a new pet so this is how hatchery works um i believe this it's not important it's not really important though because it won't um yeah it won't help you too much so um, Harchery is something that you will unlock on level 30, so I'm level 55, so I have unlocked it. Warehouse level 15. Oh, sorry, I have another building. 
which is warehouse so warehouse is currently level 15 so what is warehouse warehouse is um the building that will make your upgrade cost i mean the attribute upgrade cost um become cheaper i mean the um um the the, the cost that you have to pay for upgrading that you know that um on the survivor tab we can increase our attributes so this will make that um, become cheaper and also it will increase your backpack size so for example I have 24 backpack size currently and if I upgrade this to level 16 I will have 25 backpack space so this is how weight warehouse works so decrease the um, cost to upgrade to upgrade attributes and it will increase your backpack size so that is how the uh, the uh, warehouse works so that's all for today's video wow I'm getting uh, yeah I, I'm getting uh, not I'm, I'm feeling not really well so I have to take some medicine so that's all for today. I'm going to stop the recording since I'm not really um I, I'm not really up to um talking right now. So yeah, I'm going to just stop the recording. So um thanks for watching. We I I will see you in the next video. Maybe um tomorrow or maybe Monday. I will review the raid tab. I mean the second sub tab in shelter. Thank you so much for watching.